read in Nick Bostrom's book, um, uh, Super Intelligence, <laughs> um, that uh, he talks about something called AI singleton. And uh, I think we'll come back to uh, the AI arms race soon, but I'll just, for people to understand that in science, fi science fiction uh, movies and so on, it's often portrayed that we could have many uh, super AIs competing. Uh, you know, you can have one team having one or AI and uh, perhaps you can have wars between AIs and so on. But that's false, I would say, at, at least according to Nick Bostrom. And I think you will agree with me. If we reach the level of uh, super intelligence, uh, logic says that if you reach, reach that level, and the other AIs have not at this exact same moment, that AI will be able to, um, to see where all the other AIs, um, prevent all other AIs to reach the same level because simply they, they could um, see where, what steps they would, they would take before uh, they can take them. Um, so uh, in that way, they will have a, you know, an advantage uh, that uh, will never level, I, level out uh, if, it, if it doesn't want to. And why would it, <laughs> uh, if we think yeah. from that perspective? Uh, or wh why would that uh, group of people that control this, I say control, <laughs> this super intelligence, want the others to, to catch up? So, uh, so perhaps we should move on to that, you know, really big question of super... Can I, yeah, sorry. Can I just add some nuance to the picture? Yes. Uh, because uh, I, I think that you, you gave a very good description of, of Nick Bostrom's singleton uh, scenario, but I don't think we can uh, claim at this stage that we know for certain uh, that that is where we would land. And I don't think Nick Bostrom claims that either. He talks in his book, I mean, uh, he, the, the weight uh, of his book is mostly on, on, on this uh, singleton scenario where the first superintelligent machine takes control over everything. But uh, he also uh, spends some time on what he calls multipolar outcomes, which is the alternative scenario where, where, where you don't have a, a single machine taking control over everything, but multiple um, agents uh, of comparable uh, power. And, and uh, if, uh, um, uh, if the trajectory towards superintelligence goes very fast, I think that is the situation where uh, we can expect the singleton outcome to be very likely mm -hmm. because whatever machine that first exceeds the critical level for entering what we talked about uh, uh, as the recursive spiral of self-improvement if that goes goes very very fast, then it will reach superintelligence way before any other machines are are uh, anywhere near it, and and uh, we get this situation with a decisive strategic advantage mm. uh, and mm. a single ton. But if if uh, the trajectory towards superintelligence is much much slower, then uh, it's not at all clear that this is what would happen, and we could get more, much more complicated. Yeah. multipolar scenarios and though, and just my last point the last thing i would like to talk with you a little bit is are we witness, witnessing right now an ai arms race because for me it's quite obvious that of course this powerful tool is a huge driver for people because if you can reach super uh, ai or artificial general intelligence you could potentially build the biggest company in the world and become the richest company in the world and most influential company build the most advanced weapons and so on so the drive here uh, is is huge so uh, what would you say are we witnessing an ai um, arms race right now i mean there there is a race mentality uh, uh, between countries uh, and between uh, different uh, companies. Uh, and and uh, it's, I mean, for the most of it, this is not about this ultimate goal of, of, of building the first super intelligent machine, but it can be more prosaic things uh, like getting first to some particular uh, market uh, segment for, for some new AI application. But the problem with this race mentality is that it doesn't encourage uh, safety thinking and ethical thinking and so on. Because if you have a competitor who you want to um, come ahead of, uh, 
to, 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 to this uh, uh, market or, or whatever it is you're aiming for. Yeah. Uh, you don't have time to think about uh, ethics and risk and safety and so on. You just no. want to get your project, uh, uh, product done uh, and uh, as fast as possible. So all the focus gets on the AI becoming as capable as possible, with yeah. less attention on, on safety. Mm. Huge structural problem in today's uh, world and in technology uh, yeah. development. Yeah, and of course we could mention many examples, other companies here, but uh, it's most important to remember that uh, we need to start thinking about it, start, start talking about this and preparing for it. That's the, the most uh, important point I think here.